Hi everybody, welcome back to Deliver Us Mars, where in the last episode we managed to find what is essentially a greenhouse, where the colonists were growing food, which begs the question, where the hell are they if they've started growing food and nobody's here to either pick it or eat it. Hopefully this hologram will tell us. So let's start the decryption. Double decrypt. Yay. I just spoke to Remco. He says the yield is unsalvageable. How did we not catch this new mutation? How... How long until the ration plan is back on track? I think... We need to completely reevaluate our projections. Well, the heating coils out and no alloy from Herschel. We're already purifying water 35% slower than before and... I just... Rosa is fighting her own feelings of guilt and shame. That's why she started Homewood. She thinks it'll redeem all the tough choices she had to make on the moon. Mighty brave Rosa operates out of fear and ego, just like the rest of us. Do you remember the Antarctic catastrophe? I was there. I'm the only survivor left. Our second attempt at a self-sustained biosphere, and we destroyed it in less than three years. Because of pointless arguments, petty squabbling, intelligent sane people devolved into stupid, irrational cavemen. Tell me this, Isaac. Why does emotion always triumph over pragmatism? Why were our last years on Earth accompanied by endless wars over resources? Why can't humanity ever work in unison? Because we are, and always will be, too selfish to do what needs to be done. Soon, Earth will be just as uninhabitable as Mars. Because of us. Not the rabbits or the bees, nor the cancer cells that spread through my wife like wildfire. We did that. I will not let it happen here. We will persevere and we will succeed. Outward was working. Outward is working. The chaos she breeds will end it all. You understand that, don't you? Yes. Then explain to me, Isaac, why you helped her with her psych ward and why you spend time socializing with her. It is time you choose, Isaac, which side you are actually on. It's not about science. Rosa and I are good friends, the... You don't get to sit on the fence about this. Outward or Earth, Isaac? I'm here for Outward, William. You know that. I don't give a damn about Earth. Not giving a damn about Earth? That's a big fat lie, because that's where Kathy and Claire are. So at least one of our one of our questions have been answered. Why was this place abandoned? And it's because the few food had mutated and presumably not edible anymore. Hmm, bit of a shame, really feels like Isaac's conflicted and playing both sides. It's a dangerous place to be. Very, very dangerous place to be. I don't think I can get up there.
I remember when he said that before. It's another flashback. Why Claire hates Isaac, really? Outside the pressurized atmosphere, 
theoretically, that wall shouldn't be there. Mind you saying that there's ice on Mars, so there might be water underneath the ice cap. Might be, I don't know. Just theorising. I'm sure there are people a lot smarter than I am that will say otherwise. Freezing water, then. Why did you want to come on this mission so badly? Wood? Saving Earth never seemed like a priority when it changed. I'm a little busy, Sarah. What changed? Just answer. Sarah, I need your help here with living waters. ASAP, I, I uh. I found some Alcordians. Are you sure? Did they see you? I, um... I wouldn't worry about that. I'm on my way. Kathy, get back here as fast as you can. Roger that. That tells me what Ryan's just said there. It tells me that he's found some dead Alcordians. find out. doesn't portray is just how tiring ice axe climbing is. It really is tiring. In fact, no, that's the direction we came from. I've made it back inside. Where do you want me to go? shows Mars as the centre of it all. MacArthur and Outward really seem set on making this place the new origin point for mankind. Yeah, I wonder if we haven't fucked up Earth so badly.
What the hell happened here? Maybe we arrived too late. Maybe we didn't. We have no idea what's behind this door. No. One way to find out. Is everything all right, Sarah? I don't know. More bodies. Security drones. Been years, I'm fine. But we should turn back. It's Noted. clearly not safe. We need to find out what happened in Zadi. But we're easy targets now without. Just look around and see what we can find. Be careful, everyone. Mission to the blackout. Anything you can. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to. Anything useful on there? Its protocols are all messed up. Seems a kill switch turned it off, and likely the others too. But there's more code here. Something was altered before the kill switch was thrown. Hard to tell without doing a deep dive on the diagnostics. Okay. Look at this. Power to buy the door, probably guarding the bridge. The security ASCs, MacArthur's own ASCs, are facing them, not homeward. So. They were attacking outward instead of homeward. What's Sarah's deal with security ASEs? One attacked her on the moon. It's the reason she got stuck there. During the blackout, she went to investigate the cause, and one knocked her out. That all led up to what happened with your dad, and yeah, you know the rest. Yeah. Right. You see what some of them are holding, Ayla? These people barricade the entrance. Why would they block their own escape? Unless... they weren't trying to escape. They weren't. They were trying to stop Homewood coming in. Rosa. Did that? Door just opened by itself. What was that? I know that sound. Came from over there. Now you see. Sarah, Ryan, you gonna call them? Rina, oi bruv, that coffee went right through me. I'm taking care of business right now, boom. Sweet, thanks for the play-by-play. -play. Do you know what they do to our waste? You want to have this conversation right now, while you're on the toilet? Yes, yes I do. No, no I don't. Out of behind, out of mind, and all that. That's why you have a men menial desk job and I get the cool gigs. I actually think about stuff. While you're taking a dump. To be fair, sometimes it's the best place to do a lot of thinking. Yes, now listen, they dehydrate the poop over at Vita and then send it to Odium for compost. Yes. The cycle is amazing how you sort of eat your own waste at the end of it all. How cool is that? I do not care at all. Now, if you would kindly forward me weekly alloy stats so I can get on with my menial desk job. Should write this down for later. To be fair, it's not the first time human poop has been used for fertilizer.
How does it come to this? Petechial hemorrhages. Cyanosis. They were suffocated. They suffocated. Everyone? They shot off the oxygen. Yeah. Both homeward and outward. MacArthur shot off the oxygen. We have to leave. It's too dangerous. Too dangerous? Sarah, there's no one left. We don't know that. I mean, look what they did to each other. Sarah, please calm down. No. I mean, if there are any survivors, we, we have nothing to our defend ourselves. We, we have to go back. Ayla detects holograms? Yeah? Doesn't Alex do that too? No. And I've been trying to break the Lunar Council encryption key for years. How many of these have you found? A number. Only a couple. Liar. Play it. What? Play it. Now, it would also explain why the body is having... Play it. It would also explain why the bodies haven't decomposed. There's no oxygen. Can't decompose. seeing my family again people people please enough fighting like cornered animals you're all better than that things here haven't been easy but it's hardship we have to endure to make outward work it's hardship we had foreseen those of you who wish to return with the ox what do you think earth will do with them Who's at the front of the queue to be helped? You? Each and every one of you would be put on trial the moment your feet touch the ground. And what of the nations that don't get a say? That don't get control? What do you think they will do? They will fight, they will kill, and they will destroy. Like mindless, irrational beasts, they will destroy the Ark and each other. For over 30 years, we've known that Earth has passed the point of no return. In 30 more years, its surface will be near and distinct from that of Mars. Pushing the frontier of humanity always comes with a cost. But it's a price we have to pay for a better tomorrow. We can still move forward in unison and make this work. If only we- Enough, William! We are done with your speeches. We are done being ignored. Your lofty talk of unity spits in the face of all those you've got locked up in medical. Desperate people who resorted to desperate measures. Your inaction and ignorance forced their hands. We miss our families and friends back on Earth. If our tech and our minds can help save it, we have to try. You forced us to board the Arks. You forced us to live and work in this nightmare. And now, you're forcing our hand. We will be heard, William. You will listen to us. Now, Julia. How... Rosa, what have you done? After him! Rosa for all Homewardians! Grab MacArthur and get to the bridge! My 
my god. It was Homeward. They used the ASCs to fight their way to the bridge. I can't believe MacArthur pushed this to an all-out civil war. MacArthur? Yes, MacArthur. The ASCs, the attack on Odom? Rosa is just as culpable, don't you think? Yeah. Rosa? You must be joking. These people have no choice. They didn't choose to be violent. MacArthur forced their hand. That doesn't mean the ends justify the means. Rosa is just as guilty of this escalating as he is. Without her, none of this would have happened. Using the oppressor's weapons against him is completely justified. Isn't that man for as much of a dictator as he was? She's imposing her will just like MacArthur did. We saw the horror of my poor wife to leave. This isn't some hypothetical moral dilemma from one of your dad's college lectures. This is clear fact. Right, sure, but how about the cup of trouble? Take it easy. We should go now, while we still can. Yeah. So Rosa and MacArthur took factions, took sides basically. <laughs> leading us somewhere. Ayla, could it be? Got sleeping quarters here. Among the stars. Book exchange. <laughs> I do know many books. Mars? this hologram, decrypt this hologram and then that would probably be it for this episode. we can actually go to here. Well then, make him authorize it. Rosa, please stop this. This has all gone too far. This is just the beginning. Hacking the ASCs, storming medical to release the prisoners. Are you not, you're not hearing the madness of it all. MacArthur cut us off from Arglavos, not me, Isaac. Why are you even here? To parlay on behalf of our glorious leader? I came as a friend, please. Please listen to reason. I'm done listening, and I'm done talking. What about people who support Outward and want to thrive? The people you have security ASCs pointing their weapons at right now. We are leaving today, and we're taking the Arcs with us. 
If you want to help, go to the Panopticon and tell MacArthur to turn Labos back on. Otherwise, stay out of it. Seems like Isaac. Why? Why are they acting like this? We've been through so much together. How is this happening? Well, I hope they're okay. We'll find out. But that will be in the next episode. Hopefully. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. And I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.